instead of working out number 22, we worked out number 23 yesterday. That is what that was our last exercise. Now, let's start by finding the limit for number 22. The limit of the turn of pi x over all over 2x as x approaches zero. Magwena. Yes, sir. Number 22. Thank you. Elvin, what did you get, my brother? As an answer? I got pi over 2. Pi over 2. Yes, sir. Uh, Lerato? Pi over 2. The miso? I've got pi over 2 as well, sir. Voyo? It's pi over 2. Pio? I've got pi over 2, sir. Uh, Mr. Matsuzo? I agree with the colleagues with pi over 2, Minya. Uh, okay. I, I have a question here. Yes. Uh, since it's pi over 2, uh, and I concluded by saying uh, is equals to 90. Since pi is equals to 180, then we divide by 2 is equals to 90. Can I Who's say talking? that? It's Who's Vuyo. talking? It's Vuyo. Yes, Vuyo, you and I agree that pi over 2 is 90 degrees because pi is 180 degrees. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, Lungile. Lungile. Yes, sir. What did you get as an answer? No, I got stuck, sir. I got stuck. I didn't get an answer. So I'm, I was working it up again. I got stuck. Okay. Uh, as I'm trying, I'm just trying to think out of my head. Uh, ooh, there is someone. Okay, I'll tell you, people that I'm looking for. Hey, Bianca. Hello, sir. What did you get as an answer? I don't even know which one you you guys were doing. I just got in not so long ago. All right. Uh, Ma, Ma Kosazani, what did you get? I got stuck also because I'm new today. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. uh, Bongizani, my brother, what did you get as an answer? I got one over two multiplied by pi. <laughs> one, one over two multiplied by pi. It's okay. pi over two, sir. Okay. I managed to cheat. All right. Magwena. Yes, sir. What did you get as an answer? Okay, I got pi over two. Can I explain? <laughs> yeah, you uh, let me talk to these other friends of yours, then you will be the okay. first one to explain to us how you, we arrived at that pi over two. Right. Uh, there is my bad, you, my bad, yeah, you are, yeah, you are best at budding yourself. My bad. So I'm here. Yes, what did you get as an answer? I just got into the class, I'm late, so I oh. haven't got the time to work through the solution. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. No moment. No moment. 
No moment. No moment. Oh. Okay. We were, for those who just joined, we were solving exercise number 22. The limit of the turn of pi x all over 2x as x approaches zero. Magwena. Magwena. Yes, sir. Please share with us how we arrived at pi over two. All right. The limit of 10 or 10 of uh, pi x over two x as x approaches zero. I changed 10 of pi of x into to sine x, sine pi x over cos pi x. And then I divided it by, I divided it by two and then I said is the limit is the limit of sine of pi x over cos x multiplied by one over two over two x as x approaches zero. And then I the next step I said uh, I, I multiplied by pi over pi. I got limit of pi over two x um sine x sine pi x over cos cos pi x as x approaches zero. I then separated the limits as the limit of of pi two uh, pi two x pi two x cos pi x and the limit multiplied by the limit of sine pi x uh, sine pi x uh, over the uh, over pi x as x approaches zero. So I know that the limit of sine pi x over pi x is one, and then I I substituted our uh, x on pi uh, cos pi x. I got uh, cos pi x is is one, so I got pi over two x. Uh, Magwena, please ask them whether they did follow your explanation. And then in, okay, two things for me. Please ask them whether they did follow what, uh, they did follow your explanation to them so that they can have an opportunity to raise their questions so that we can help them. The second thing that I'm asking you to ask them is to ask them whether they agree with the, uh, the final answer that you told us. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. So, um, my colleagues, do you agree with uh, do you agree with the final answer? And did you did you get what I explained? No. <coughs> <laughs> uh, I got lost. That you changed uh, tan pi x into. Sin pi, sin pi x over cos pi x divided by 2x. Yeah. The step after that, you said you multiplied by pi or 2x. I can't remember properly. Yeah. I then you multiplied. Yeah. I, I multiplied by pi over pi. Yeah. Yeah. I multiplied um, the whole equation, but. 1 over 2, 2, 1 over 2 x pi or 1 over pi 2 x um, multiply sine pi x over cos pi x and then. Okay, it's um, 1 over pi 2 x multiply yes. by pi sine sin pi x over cos pi x. And then after that? After that, I separated the limit. I said, mm, if the limit of pi 2 cos, uh, cos pi x multiply the limit of uh, the limit of sine pi x over pi x. And then after that, I know that 
the sine of the limit of sine of pi x over pi x as x approaches zero is one and then I substituted x on cos pi x which is why I got pi over two x. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Magwena. Yes, sir. My sister. Yes, sir. Uh, my sister, would you please uh, explain a bit slower so that uh, another family member can follow? Okay. Because when Kosi says no, he got lost in oh, in can... the process of explanation. So can I ask someone else to explain for me a little bit slower? <laughs> <laughs> Continue, no, no. but try to be slow because I didn't even get what you said as well. Okay. As I believe, my sister, please. Okay. Please, let um, me, okay, let me let me start. Um, the limit of tan tan pi x over 2x as x approaches 0. When you substitute uh, x, you get, when you substitute x, I mean, when you substitute 0 on this uh, equation, you get something over 0. So we don't, we, we don't want that um, denominator to be 0. So I changed, um, I changed tan pi x o, uh, to to sine pi x over cos pi x. Um, this whole thing is divided by 2x. So my next step was uh, the limit of sine pi x over cos pi x multiply 1 over 2x. So I got the limit of one over two x. Sorry, but before you go, before you continue, uh -huh. sorry to disturb you. You said uh, sine pi x divided by cos pi x times, are you saying times one over two? Two a times one over two x, which we already had. Oh, okay. Oh, mm. I didn't get that two x, so I thought maybe you omitted it. No, I, I okay, you can continue. Okay, I then I want to get I, I I wanted to get pi x, so I multiplied by pi over pi to get pi x in in the denominator. So I didn't change anything by multiply by pi over pi. It's like I multiplied the whole equation by one. So I said. Is sorry you're breaking okay sorry i don't know if it's my phone but i didn't get that after that step of sign you said you wanted to get what i wanted to get um i wanted to get to get sine pi x over pi x so i multiplied the whole equation by pi over pi And then so you factored out the pi over pi. No, I just multiplied by one. I didn't change anything. So for me to multiply by one, I multiplied by pi over pi to get to to get sine pi x over pi oh. x. Guys, is it my line or you also can hear here? I can hear her. I can hear her. Okay, I'm just gonna lock out. Can someone also please explain <laughs> why mm -hmm. you're coming? All right, Mabwena. Yes, sir. I'm not letting you off the hook. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Mabwena. We are in this together. Don't worry. Don't even don't stress. Don't even panic. We are in this together. And we I'm, can follow you, so don't you shouldn't worry. Yeah, no, she's doing great. She's no, doing I, just, I, just, I just feel like I'm bad at explaining. No, you're not. Mm -hmm. We, we are good. also bad at explaining. 
Okay. Like I was okay. saying, I'm multiplied by pi over pi. Okay, sorry, Makwena. Yes. So um, you said limit um of a, of x when approaching zero of sine pi x over cos pi x multiplied by one over two x, right? Yes. Multiply by introducing the the one which is pi over pi. Yes. Okay. All right. I'm still with you. You can continue. Okay. After multiplying mm -hmm. by one. So she said sine sine pi x divided by okay. Sorry, can I do step? I'm sorry. Yes, yes. Oh, can I disturb you or can I ask you a question? No, no, no. You are you are you are not disturbing us. You can continue. You're saying no, I'm not continuing. I'm asking you a question, Magwena. How? Okay. Yes. <laughs> 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 so you said a sine pi or sine pi x divided by cos pi x times one over two x. Yes. Then you're saying you multiplied by pi over pi. Where did you get that? Um, I wanted to to get um sine pi sine pi x over pi x. So I multiplied by pi over pi. I didn't change the equation. If you if you divide pi by pi is one. When you multiply anything by one, it's just that number. When you multiply any number by one, it's just that number. Oh, thank you, Maguire. It's, okay. like, it's more like rationalizing. Do you know how to rationalize? Yes, I'm following. Okay. Now. After multiplying by pi over pi, I say I I, I got sine sine pi x over cos pi x multiply pi over two pi x. I then separated the limit into the limit of pi over two x. Over, I mean, sorry, I separated the limits into the limit of pi over 2 cos pi x as x approaches 0 times the limit of sine pi x over pi x as x approaches 0. So, can you please repeat again the whole thing? Sine pi mm -hmm. x over cos uh, pi x. Uh, after, um, multi after multiplying by pi over pi. Yes, it's okay, after uh, what's, what you get after that. Okay, what I got, what I what I got is as pi over as pi sine as pi sine pi x over two pi cos x so cos pi x. I then separated the limit into pi is the limit of pi to pi, I mean pi to cos pi x as x approaches zero times the limit of sine pi, sine pi x over pi x as x approaches zero. Did you get that? I don't know if I got it, but oh god. You can continue. My my network is bad, so I so I didn't get anything. Sorry. Uh, I have a suggestion here. Uh, okay. For for it to be easy, just take a a picture and send it on a on the chat. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> you were quick to say <laughs> thank you. Uh, Emma, can I come in? Sir? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. Do we okay? I, I I hear the picture issue here, but now can I just ask the colleague who's asking for the picture? Where are you stuck? What are you struggling with so far?
Whoever is asking the picture, even if Magwena posed the picture there, will that person be able to understand? That is the question that I'm having. Uh, I, will, yeah, I, will, I, will, I will write it in a, I will write the words. I don't know if I'm allowed to yeah. do whatever that I did. What did you do? Well, I said the limit of access it approaches zero equals to sine pi sine pi times x divided by cos of pi times x times two x. Then after that, I said equals to the limit of x as it approaches zero. Then I was just I was cross multiplying, or I was just um, removing the division side. Then I said sine pi x divided by two x times two divided by cos pi x. Uh, hang on, who's talking? Then that's Bianca. Bianca, okay. Did you follow Magwana's explanation? I couldn't hear her. I think, I don't know if my network is bad or what, but then oh, okay. I lost her But when she said pi divided by pi. Oh, okay, when she Bianca. said she's factoring out the pi divided by pi because it's it's one. Okay, thank you, Bianca. Hang on there. Yeah. And the two, yeah, Bianca, I, mean, yes. I think that's one thing that threw her off. Mr. Mazzoso. Yes, uh, just following what Bianca was saying, it's not multiplied by two. It's supposed to be one over two, according to what she was saying when I'm trying to follow. Because we have tan uh, pi x over two x. So she converted tan properly into sine over cos, but now the remainder is supposed to be one over two x, not two x. Uh, Mr. Matsu, so let me ask you, uh, Bianca. Bianca. Oh, it's supposed to be one over cos. Remember, also, Bianca, you, con you converted your turn properly. You have sign over cos. Okay? Yeah. So if if you are to move turn of the new meter, you will have one pi x times one over two x. So you did the conversion of turn properly, but you forgot that that two it has the one over it. It's one over two x. And then coming into the issue of pi that Mark and I was talking about, she was saying pi over pi. So pi over pi is one, and as she said, if you multiply anything by one, it's still that same thing. So you are trying to manipulate your way into getting your final answer here. My advice would be when you start, or in terms of what you need to know when you multiply, is you look at the angle that you'll be dealing with. So you go to your turn, your turn pi x. So can so I just lock out and come back? I think, I don't know if... There's a problem with my network. Okay, no problem. So yes, we near. Hello. Mark when I can continue. No, Mark when I was done. I thought maybe from where you are, you are coming from, then Bianca would then be able to follow because from where Bianca is sitting, there seems to, from mm -hmm. where Bianca is sitting, she seems to be having connection problems but from where i'm sitting i could hear magwena clearly i can Lena, also hear yeah, clearly. same applies with me same okay okay guys we uh, can continue please continue uh, mr Majosu. so yes okay I mean, the trick I was trying to share here, guys, is that you look at the angle that you're dealing with. So it will tell you that along the way, when you are doing that multiplication in terms of pi over pi, or in this case, it's pi over pi x that you will be multiplying pi. Because remember, we are trying to just manipulate into getting whatever is in that 
angle from it or that bracket so that we can convert it into that uh, y of sine x over x or x over sine x, which is equal to 1. So if I'm to share my step, I converted the tan x, a uh, tan pi x into sine pi x over cos pi x multiplied by 1 over 2x multiplied by pi x over pi x. And then when you, multi uh, when you manipulate everything else, you will have a point whereby you will have sine pi x over pi x that identity for us which will come out to be one and then you will have pi x over 2x and in that particular scenario the x's will cancel out and you'll be left with pi over 2 and then on the far end you will have 1 over cos pi x and if you substitute your x for 0 pi times 0 is 0 and cos 0 is 1 so everything else will give you one, then one times pi over two is one, uh, pi over two, which is how we got, or I got to my final solution of pi over two or one over two times pi. But now, less than, if we agree, can we now find the limit of one over theta? Multiply by the 10 of 3 of theta as theta approaches 0, which is number 24. Then in here, we will see whether, uh, oh, that's Bianca. Bianca did follow the explanation that was provided in number 22. Or not. We'll be able to see it here. Uh, my body. Yes, sir. Yes, looking for an answer. The answer is one. One. Yes. I'll come back to you. Okay, thank you. I'll come back to you. Uh, why should I start? Ndomeso, what did you get as an answer, brother? Ndomeso? Oh, number 24. Sorry. Yes, number 20, number 24. Yes. 25 got three. Got three. Prudence. Prudence. Ah uh, yes, sir. Yes. Answer. One, number 24 is three. Hmm. Lerado. One over three. One over three. Abdul? I agree with uh, the three. You agree with the three? Yes. So three, I got okay. three as well. Oh, oh, you agree with the three. I thought you were referring to the three people. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Long... <laughs> yeah, because before you gave me an answer, I have spoken to four people and then the three people gave me three the three people gave me two different answers yes so then i was confused okay i got three sir you are going to explain that to me Theo. yes yes sir how are you my answer uh i got three as well sir uh-huh. Alvin. Yes, sir. Our answer? I got three as well. Buja Bengos. I got three, sir, but I'm not sure of it, but I got three. Bianca? I got three. Okay. Thank you. Now. Let's first talk to Mwibadi. Mwibadi, you got one. After your explanation, Mwibadi, you will be followed by Lerato, who got one over three. Then we'll start, I'll then start, we will then start to talk about uh, these people who got three. Mwibadi, can, 
uh, you can go ahead. I wrapped mine off. I'm starting a press again because I had that to go train. Sorry? I'm using a sensor and an eraser, so I raised mine because kids are buddy. My buddy, are you hungry or are you sick? No, today? um, I'm yes, yes. I'm trying to catch up. Um, yeah, I, I can't hear you. I'm saying, please share with us how you arrived at at this answer of one that you shared with us, and then in the process of explaining of your explanation, I'm battling to hear what you are saying. I'm not confident enough to tell you about my one. I was just reaching through to the ones. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. I, 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 whoa, 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 wait there. We are not talking about confidence here. We are all here to learn. Confidence is something else. But here we, this is our platform where we all talk. Now we just say, whatever, whatever, the way you approach it, you don't have to worry, uh, my buddy. Explain to us so that we can learn from you and at the same time, you can also be able to learn from us. That is the whole idea. Please go ahead. Gerardo? Yes, sir. Please read us how you go to one over three. And three. Uh, sin 3 theta divided by cos 3 theta times 1 over theta and then from there I did what I always do cos 1 over 3 yeah. <laughs> sin 3 Sign three zero, it's zero. Cos three zero, it's one over theta times zero over three, it's one over three. Something like that, I'm not sure. Thank you, uh, Lerado. Now, who should I choose here? Okay, there is someone by the name of Lungile. Lungile? Hi, sir. Please explain to us how you arrived at three. Explaining step by step so that uh, my party who got one and the rado who got one over three can be able to see. Okay. I'm not saying what, what they found is not what we are looking for. I'm not saying mm. how many, two, four, six, two, four, six, eight people who got three. I'm not saying that we were in fact looking for that three. Just requesting you to explain to us how you arrived at the three. Then we'll start to talk. Okay. Okay, so what I did was, so obviously the question is um, limit where theta is approaching zero, uh, one over theta times 10, three theta. Then the next step, I said one over theta times sin three theta over cos three theta. So I separated 10 or simplified it to sign three theta over cos three theta. And then um, the next step, I separated everything again. So what I did was I said sine three theta over theta times one over cos three theta. And then I times everything by three over three so that I can get the three theta. And then the next step, I just rearranged everything so that I can have sine three theta over three theta um, times one over cos three theta times three. And then when we put in the limit, then that's where we get one for the sine three theta over three theta times one for the cos theta times three. 
which gives me three. Uh, that was Lungile, ne? Yes. Uh, Lungile, please ask Prudence whether she follows your explanation. Okay, uh, Prudence, do you follow my explanation? Uh, unfortunately, I don't. I'm not quite following okay. well. Okay, oh, where do you oh, want okay. me to start? Okay. Sorry? Uh, okay, thank you, uh, Lungile. Prudence says she's not following. Please uh, explain to her for the last time then if Prudence still doesn't follow, then uh, Lungile, then you can choose anyone amongst us who got the three to explain to Prudence if she I doesn't follow your three, explanation. Sir. I got three. Uh, hmm. I did get three. But yes, uh, I it's can't follow her. Uh, explanation. Yes. Okay. She's too yes, fast. Yes, I'm with you, students. I, I follow what you are saying to say you are not following her explanation. Hence, I'm requesting her to explain again. Then if you will still not be following, yeah. then you will come in. Okay, in this case, now I get what you are saying. Then mm. you yourself will come in. <laughs> yeah. Okay. To explain to us okay. how you got. There. Thank you. Okay. So from the question, step one, I simplified ten three theta. So what that is, I said limit where theta is approaching zero. 1 over theta times sine 3 theta over cos 3 theta, right? And then step two, I separated um, everything so that I can work with it simpler. So step two goes like limit where theta is approaching zero. I put sine 3 theta over theta times 1 over cos 3 theta times 3 over 3. Okay. And then step 3, I said limit where theta is approaching 0. I now put in the 3 into, into like I rearranged it so that um, I can work with it better. So now I said limit where theta is approaching zero. I have sine three theta over three theta times one over cos three theta times three, right? And then when I put in the limits, that's where we get for sine three theta over three theta, that is equal to one times one over, I mean, times one because of the one over three theta times three, which all equals to three. Uh, I hope that was clearer. Um, yes, yes, I understand. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Now, if we are all happy and all agree that our answer is a three, then I think we can step off this question. And before I step off it, can I ask if there is any other person who is not clear? on how we arrived at the three, so that we can be able to help. Sir. Yes, Lerato. 
the problem is not like how you arrived at the three. Uh, let's just say this part of changing. Do you change angles or do you make mm -hmm. them? I don't know what's happening. I see people multiplying angles with angles and then rearranging and then they get answers. <sighs> We are not changing an angle, Brad. Angle, we are not tempering with angles. Not at all. Uh, is a beauty level is not here. Uh, level it's, she's can't come. Le Sorry? Yeah, uh, she's having problems with this. She's peace. She's busy. Yes. Oh. I thought yesterday you followed her explanation. It's fine. But, before I, but whoa, 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 it's not fine. Lerato, it's not fine. The thing Let is, me, yes, okay. When you write an exam, this mm. thing will have eight marks. Which I'm glad I can forfeit to the mark and move on to what I know. If I don't get it, it's fine. I'll see. No, that's not how we should approach it. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with you. I disagree. I disagree with the statement, uh, Larajo. When we together. step over this, we should all be mastering what we are doing. Yes. Yes. So can I come and try and help Lerato here? Lerato, what is your help? Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh okay. Uh, I had Abdul. Who was the second person? It's Bianca. It's, a lady's voice. it's Bianca. Okay, thank you. Uh, Bianca, please. No, I, I wanted to ask Lerato. I want. I wanted to ask Lerato on now. What is her, What is his problem? Okay, hang on, uh, Bianca. Let me ask you. Let me ask. In this in this manner. Uh, I'm asking to give you an opportunity to speak to Lerato, and then help him out. After that. After you have spoken to Lerato. Then Abdul will follow in that order. Thanks. Rato. Okay. First thing, sir. Yesterday I said I work miracles. This question, with my own method that I made, I can get correct answers almost 80% of the time. So, which method did you use? First of all, which method did you use? Explain number, your method. Number 22, by looking at number? it, the, like when I look at the question, I already know the answer. So which I write that and then I mix things up. Like, okay. What that, okay, like, explain how you did 24. Uh, 24 is because of that fraction. That's why I'm complaining so much. Mm. Hence, hence we are asking or what is the problem so that maybe one of us can explain it to you because you're saying you're using your own methods and we don't know even know those methods i think we all use different methods those methods are wrong Yo. <laughs> how do you know they are wrong but you're getting the right answers because the la hospital's rule and sir said no we shouldn't use it Oh, uh, okay. That's where the problem started. So, like, I don't know how to make sin x over x. That's the problem. Making that sin, situation. Sin x over x. Cross multiplying. By the denominator or the numerator. That's what you're saying, that you don't know how to cross multiply. I don't know which number to choose. Okay, it depends which one is your uh, numerator or denominator. 
on those then, fractions, then you just cross multiply. And when you cross multiply, you're going to say on your left hand side, you're going to take your numerator and then you multiply it by your denominator, which is going to be your first answer. I don't know your first your first uh yeah your first answer then if it is added to the other one which you you, you cross multiplied it you're gonna say on your right hand side you take the numerator you multiply by the denominator that is gonna add or or you're going to add or it's going to be minus whatever that you got on your right hand side then you add the two by substituting the limit of that um of the given equation then you get your answer like what you just said that's where the problem is how can you add when the original sum has only multiplications you see okay guys to can I come in here? So, even the cross multiplication here i think that's where the issue is Lato, can we do this together can you see the initial sum we choose a question there 24 we're still on 24 can you see the yes. original sum of 24? Yes, I can see it. Now, can you convert uh, tan, uh, tan 3 theta? When you convert it, what is it going to be? Zero. Convert it, it's the same as what? Sine 3 theta over cos 3 theta. Or should I say an, another identity for you to understand what I'm trying to say? I think you are no. saying you are not sure how to get to go x and stuff. So I'm saying tan theta or tan 3 theta is the same as side 3 theta over cos 3 theta. Do you agree with me? Yes, I agree. Okay, sure. So now let's look at our angle. What is your angle? 3 theta. Sure. So know that we're going to move to a point whereby we're going to have three, three, uh, 3 theta over 3 theta multiplying everything else. So can you write this down? You have 1 over theta times mm -hmm. sine 3 theta over cos 3 theta. Can you write it down? I'm writing down as you are speaking. Yes, so you have 1 over theta times sine 3 theta over cos 3 theta times 3 theta over 3 theta. Are you yes. at that step? Yes, I'm at that step. Okay, sure. So with those, multi those things are multiplying. With multiplication, it doesn't really matter that much. We can rearrange. So we are rearranging now. Yeah. Can you see the 3 theta that is at the bottom? Yes, I can see it. Can you take that 3 theta and put it under sine 3 theta? Okay. So you're going to write sine 3 theta over 3 theta? Yes. You're... Fine. And then you have that 1 over theta. Can you take that 3 theta that was on top? Take that 3 theta and go and put it on top of 3 theta over theta. Okay. And then you will be left with 1 over cos 3 theta. Do you agree? Yes. Yes, I agree. So now, let's simplify. The theta and that other theta cancel out and you are left with 3. Can you see that? Yes, I can see that. And then sine 3 theta over 3 theta is that identity which is 1. 1. Yes. And then 1 over cos 0, cos 0 is 1, so which is 1? Okay. So 1 times 1 times 3 is 3. You see, you see now, what you are saying, I get it, I understand it. The problem is this. We use the, we multiply with the angle of sine. Remember, yeah. yes, we are not trying to change that angle, yeah, sine. That's what we are doing. We are avoiding changing that angle yeah, sign. So if yeah. sign has three theta, you have to manipulate that at the bottom, you must get three theta so that it can fit to that identity. Okay, yeah. Now I'm fine. I, I can understand how you do it. Uh, thank you, Abdul. Lerado, are you sure? The next question will prove. How sure I am? I'm sure now. I'm concerned because uh, Lebu gave this explanation yesterday. 
But now, let's not talk about yesterday. But we can't stop about to, we can stop talking about yesterday because this is a continuation. But now, let's continue. Can we then look at number 25? Alvin? Yes, sir. What did you get as an answer for number 25, brother? I got four, sir. You got four? Okay, thank yes, you. Yes, sir. Uh, where should I go? Uh, Tando, what did you get? I got zero. <laughs> Got zero, thank you. Lerado, what did you get? One over four. One over four, thank you. Uh, Sbusiso, what did you get? I got four, sir. Four, thank you. Ndomeso, what did you get, brother? I got four, sir. Thank you. Uh, Let's start with uh, Tando, then we'll go to Lerato. Tando, you got zero. Please share with us how you got this zero. <laughs> um, okay, say. So remember in high school, even in primary, <laughs> when you got a zero, then <laughs> we used to refer to that as eggs. That means tonight we'll eat eggs from Tando's house. Okay, how did you get the zero, my sister? Uh, I say, you know what, I said uh, one divided by, I changed quotes four theta to cos four theta over sine four theta. Hey, well, again, you changed? I said one, divided by cos 4 theta, divided by sine 4 theta. Mm -hmm. Then I got sine 4 theta over cos 4 theta. Yeah. Then, I, then after that, um, I substituted 0 for, for theta there, then I, I got sine zero over cos zero so sine zero is zero then cos zero was one so i got zero divided by one which is zero mm, tando you and i <laughs> need to fight yeah this one uh, Yes, okay. by chance. Yes, by chance. Yeah, I'm saying this this one I only chance because you know, the method that you are using, I don't know it. Because if it's okay. the above one, like 24, I got three, but it was just a short method. I, I just said 10, 3 theta divided by theta. Then I canceled theta, then I took three. Hmm. So I have to practice this topic. Okay. It confuses uh, me a little bit. Uh, my request that I made long time ago stays. Still remains to say, don't be confused in my presence. I'll never accept that. Lerado. Uh, Yes, sir. Please share with us how you arrived at one over four. Okay, first things I separated, I said one over theta to make it look like the last question times one over cot four theta. And then I said one over theta times cos four theta over sine four theta, which is cot four theta. And then I multiplied with 4 theta and 4 theta. And then when I got multiplied 4 theta and 4 theta, I got a uh, sine 4 theta over 4 theta times 1 over cos 4 theta. 
I'm not sure. Maybe that's why I'm wrong. And then times for theta over theta. And then they said the theta cancels or what happens there. And then in the at the end, I had one over cos four theta. Cos four theta is one times four. And then I had one over four. Yeah. The mistake was there like during rearrangement, I think. I'm not sure, but around there. Don't worry, my brother. Don't panic. And I told you at some other point in time to say what what we're doing is not osmosis. Remember that process of osmosis. Yes. So please don't panic. Can I? Lerato, I'll ask you to listen attentively. Ne? Okay. I'm going to ask. Uh, I'll, I'll ask Abdul to explain. After Abdul, is Abdul with us? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. I'll ask Abdul to explain each and every step, and then I'll ask you to listen attentively, Lerato. Ne? Then after that, I'll ask Ndumiso to give the very same explanation. When they are done, I'll talk to you. Please, Abdul, followed by Ndumiso, step by step. Lerato. Lerato. Yes, I'm listening. Sure. You did everything correctly. Let's go back to the issue where you had one over cos for theta. <laughs> Can you see that part? Yes, I see. What is four times zero? Zero. And then cos zero is what? It's one. Sharp. So you have one over one times one over one times four. So now, when or how did you get one over four? Okay. Oh, I see now. I was supposed to multiply the four times the zero since I'm doing limits. So I yes. can okay, I get it now. It's fine. I can see yep, now. Do you see it, Lerado? Yes, I can see. Uh, that means, is there still a need for me to ask Ndomiso to come oh, to no. the platform to explain? Ah, it's fine, sir. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. If you are sure, then do you see number 26, Lerado? Mm -hmm. Yes, I see. That is the next exercise that we are working on, and I'm going to expect you to be the, the first person to give us an answer. Before, Lerado? Yes, sir. Are you able to see all of us in this workshop? Yes, there are 16 people now. Yeah, I can see oh, them all. Oh, you can see them? Yes, I can okay. see them. Here is my request to you. You are going to be the first person. Eh? I'm writing your name down. Who will you like to be the next person to follow you to give us an answer to number 16? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, all uh, of us. Yes, sorry, sir. Yes, someone is talking. It's both, yes, sir. Yes, okay. Um, can Tando repeat again? Um, I got lost somewhere. Um, my challenge is changing the court. Um, uh, so how do we change the court? Court. Court is cos over sine. Ten is sine over cos. Ten is sine over uh -huh. cos. Cod is cos over sine. The reciprocal. 
Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. Mm. Now, let's all, uh, uh, thank okay. you, man. Uh, Lerado said uh, he followed the explanation that was provided by Abdul. Oh, yeah, not a problem, sir. I just wanted to ask you, sir, we're doing 16. We are now doing number 26. Oh, 26, sir. No problem. Yes. Let me give everybody three minutes to work out number 26, but Lerado will give us an answer followed by Sibusiso. Sorry, sir, do you mind giving me the definitions of the second second? Second. Yes, both second, second and second. Second is the reciprocal of cause. Alternatively, you can write second as one over cause if you want to. Because I don't know what is it that you want to do in this case. But the reciprocal of second is cause. Uh, so what did you get, brother? I got two, Sam. Namiso, what did you get, brother? I got zero, sir. You got zero. Tando. Tando. Hello, sir. Yes. What did you get? I got two. You got two. Thank you. Yes. Prudence. Prudence. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, our answer. What is our answer? Two. Huh? Two. <laughs> say with we say your answer with confidence, prudence. What's your answer? My, my answer is two. <laughs> Thank you. Ow. <laughs> Maguena, what did you get as an answer, my sister? Yes, I got two. You got two? Yes. I really don't know, but now... Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. It's Vuyo. I got the answer. Vuyo. Yes, Vuyo. What did you get? I get the answer as two. You get two? Yes. Uh, thank you, brother. Sorry. All of you. Uh, sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, I can't read you out because of bad uh, uh, network connection. Okay. And we understand, bro. We are in the same situation. Yes, sir. May I please start with you and no ask problem. you to, ex to explain to us how you arrived at zero? Okay, so, so we have secant theta over cosecant 2 theta. Uh -uh. Uh, you missed out something. Limit, oh, sorry, sir. We have the limit as theta approaches zero of the function. The secant of theta over the cosecant of two theta. Mm -mm. There is something missing that we are leaving out. Oh, I didn't see that over theta on the outside. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. No, I, I see my mistake. <laughs> mm? Say. Hello. I'm saying it's and uh, uh, please stay on the line. There is someone who's calling me. Who's calling? Well, what does the end? Oh, is it Lerado? Is it Lerado who's talking? Lerado, is it you? It's me, sir. We are looking for an answer. We are expecting you to give us an answer. Yes, what did uh, you get? I cannot see pictures. I'm doing the voice only because network is low. Okay. What did you get as an answer? I got half. 
You got to have. One over two. Yeah, I'm hungry, my brother. I need that half of bread that you got. Okay. Yeah. Is number two? You, hang uh, on, Don't go away. Stay on the line. I was still talking to Ndumiso. Ndumiso will explain how he got zero, ne? Yes, sir. And then after after Ndumiso's explanation, Lerato, are you? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes. Immediately after Ndumiso's explanation, then please do come in. Ndumiso, please go ahead, brother. Okay, sir. I can see from my previous explanation that I forgot that theta that multiplies with the cosecant to theta. So that's why my answer is incorrect, but I'll just explain it and show how I got zero. So I have secant theta over cosecant two theta. Like I said, I forgot that other theta that multiplies cosecant. So I'll leave it out for now to show why I was incorrect. And then from there, I have one over cos theta divide one over sine two theta. Then I inverted that. I inverted one over sine two theta because we're dividing it. And then I had one cos theta multiply sine two theta over one. So then I use the principle of double angles, and then I know that sine two of theta is the same as sine as two sine theta. So from there I have one over cos theta multiply two sine theta all over one. So I know based on double angles that two sine theta is the same as two sine theta cos theta. So from there I have one over cos theta multiply two sine theta cos theta all over one. So I cancelled out the two the, the cos thetas, the one in the denominator and the one in the numerator. And then I was left with two sine theta, and then I substituted the, the zero over of theta. And then I got two minus, uh, two multiply zero, which gave me zero. But I see my mistake was that my in my first step, I, I forgot that theta that multiplies a cosecant second in the denominator position. So that's why my answer is incorrect. Had you included, had you not forgotten, or had you not misjudged that theta, what would, what would your, what would your answer be? Um, what I can see, sir, it would have been uh, two over one, I believe. Two over one. Yes, sir. So two. Okay. Okay. Thank you, brother. Lerado? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, first things first, the top part, I left it the way it is because I know it's equal to one. Second of zero is one. So I dealt with the bottom part and then I changed cosec into one over sine two theta. And then it was theta. I changed the denominator to theta over one times one over sine two theta times two theta over two theta. And then I said sine two theta divided by two theta times two theta divided by theta times one over one. And then sine two theta divided by two theta, I got one. And then those theta that cancel out, I got times two times one, but that's the denominator. So since I said I know that second zero is one, then I wrote it in full, one over two. That's the way I did it, so I'm not sure. Hmm. Uh, 
That's how you ended up uh, getting a half, eh? Yes, a half. Okay. Lerato, I've got Vuyo, I've got Makwena, I've got Prudence, I've got Tando, I've got Zbusiso. Who got an answer to be two? So, please choose two people amongst those that I've mentioned. Who's, who would you, who you would prefer to give an explanation on how they got to these two? An answer of two. Two people will give an explanation. In a sequence. After school is Is Emma Tosha around that list or not? Abdul, are you still here? Yeah, I'm here, sir. I'm worried about Lebanon. I'm very much worried as well. Yes, okay, the hospital so rule is using. Swusiso, then I'm saying is the hospital Abdul. rule Legato is using is confusing him. I have stopped using it. I have stopped. That's why I'm in this crisis. Yeah, you should have stopped early. I mean, okay, Legato, check something out. And I'm, uh, Cossack, Cossack is equal to the inverse of cause of sign so so c cat is equal to one mm -hmm. over sign write that on the side then c cat is uh, yeah yes please go ahead c can't start there please go oh if i'm spelling it right c s e C is equal to one over sine theta. Mm -mm. Two. Mm -mm. It's one over cos. We disagree. Second is one over cos. Ah, uh, please. Can people go check their notes, sir? So. No, Second. you should check your note. I think oh, you're miss. You miss. <laughs> <laughs> You're misinterpreting the two between the cos secant and the secant. Yes. How? The secant. Yes, the secant is, is one so over cos. The the cos yes. secant is one over sine. Yes, I said the cos secant is one over sine. So it vice versa. But it, it's fine. You can continue, so. The cos secant okay, is the one that starts with C. This is all, brother. Yes, I also, I also heard you mentioning them vice versa. But please, uh, please start from the beginning and then share with us. Okay, brother. okay. So can I start by asking? Yes, please. We pronounce the one that starts with C as cos secant, right? Secant. Secant. Yes. The one that starts with a capital letter C, sir. Cosec, cosecant. Cosec, cosecant. Mm. Cosecant mm. is the replica of sine, right? Yes. Yes, that's what I was trying to say, sir. Okay, thank you. Yes. Please I'm sorry if I. Okay, Legato, are you following? Ah, where is Legato now? Legato. Yes, I'm. I'm following. Then secant is the is the replicable of cos, so Reciprocal. it's one over cos. Re hey, English man. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Today is not my best day, people. Hey. No, don't worry. It's not our mother's time. Hey. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, we understand, brother. Uh, we understand, we understand, brother. Please continue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, to substitute those values into the equation. I substituted already. 
Okay. Now check something out. Now you have one over sine sine theta all over theta times one over cos. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Where did cot come from? How long? But you said you are following. One over cos. No, one by. over sign. One over sign. One over sign. Oh. Then it's I... ten. No, sign it's not ten. Point. No, sign it's over. one over sign. Legato, listen, it's one over sign all over theta mm -hmm. times mm -hmm. one over cos. Yeah, sine over cos, it's time. No, mm -hmm. Legato. <coughs> it's, listen to me. It's sign one over sign. Yes. One over sign all over theta times one over cos. That's one over ten. That's not one over ten. No, Lerato. Sine over cos is ten. Why change it? Don't change it. We don't want ten. We want sine and cos. We don't want ten. Okay, then. Yeah, don't change it. And then, then put them on the side. Say one over sine divided by. Use the sine divided. Don't, don't say all over. Divided by. Uh, Theta over cos. Are you following? I'm listening. Continue. Okay. Then you cross multiply them. You'll have cos over theta. After cross multiplying them, you'll have cos all over sine. I can somebody take over. I'm seeing things here. I. You are seeing Say. things. Say. Yeah, on, yeah. Say. What do you see? Yes, Lerato, hang on. Suppose so. What are you seeing? As I'm solving the question, say I now have cos on top and sine on the bottom, say. So what is wrong there? What is it supposed to be one half? That's the answer, not your answer. No, no, it's two. What? Today I have you today. Where I want to? No, 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 no. No, he's even, right. Say this one. <laughs> Let's go step by step. Second of okay. theta. Who's talking is one anyway? Of our is the right. 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 Second okay. over is one over cos. Cos second, okay. it's one over sine. So you will have one over cos theta divided by theta, one over sine two theta. And then one over cos theta and one over sine theta. What does that give you? One over cot. But we are not looking for that. We go to the denominator. That's where the two, the two, they get it from the denominator of theta one over sine two theta that's where the two comes from they seem yes. like an equation to yeah but you don't get one half over sine. you don't get half the if you're half. going to say oh, get zero no. Is half. no i will never give second theta is equal to one over sine that's what you are saying to me now on the way no key. no so the, the way key you will see because I beg to could, differ. Sibusisa said it's one over sine theta. Sibusisa, what is your answer, your final answer? It's the wrong two. Uh, actually, <laughs> it's the right two. No, le rato, that le rato, one, that one, le rato, I beg to differ, Shem. This answer, yes, can two. I die with it? Bona, explain like I paid. I get to the last paid do what I guess don't do that. Clarato one. Anything that is divided by one, king, two divided by one. The answer is half. It's not two divided by one. 
Ah, Lerato, it's not half. It's not half. Let's start uh, over, Lerato. No, no, who was talking? It was it non to me, so or before uh, can they I get the Lerato. answer. Can I talk to Lerato? Okay, I really can I, can I also go to. Um, it's, the answer is not true. Thank you. I'd also like can I to talk to Lerato, out. please, people? Can oh, he's your this? person. Let's solve the numerator. Can I talk to Lerato, people? <laughs> because <laughs> people, I'm not can I talk to, to Lerato? I'm not <laughs> talk, to Lerato. <laughs> talk to him. Talk to him. Don't ask. Talk to him. Okay. You are all talking. Okay, Lerato, let's start over again. Lerato. Wait. And then... Let me do La Hospital's rule. If I can. No, two. don't. Nah, okay. let's start over don't, again, Lerato. Don't. Follow me. Don't. Don't. I'll go second don't, level. Lerato, first level. Yeah, in this don't. Mess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll go second level. Lerato, go first level. El Hospital rule is on the. You did both. If you did both, then you got two. Let's let no. the person. Because I, I did both, I got oh. two. I'm starting now. Give me five uh, minutes. Two minutes. I'll be done. Okay. Before, 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 before you, you start, get it wrong, can me. I try and help? Okay, please do. Okay, let's wait. let's give him the two minutes first. Because I have a suggestion. I think this might help. Okay. So what I think I'm going to do, if he gets it wrong again, I will literally post a picture of the solution on the chat, and then we'll go through the chat together so that he can actually see what's going on. Because clearly we have a lot of fractions and they're confusing people. What do you think? That sounds Thank good to you. Yeah, so we'll just post the actual picture of the solution, then go through the solution step by step. And then if you guys feel like that's something wrong, then we can correct it as we go along. I think that's going to work better. Thank you, Theodora. Is it Theodora? Thanks, Theo. Yes, sir. Yes. That's how I did it. Yeah. So I feel like if we go over step by step, it's gonna make sense. So Lerato, if you if we may, just let us know and then we'll start with it. I can follow the answer is two there. I see okay, but <laughs> do, do you see how we got it? <laughs> okay. You said no, two no. over and then you can't yeah. out the and you're left with two. Mm. I said Theta over two theta, and I somehow theta divided by theta I put the one on top. That's why I said half. So, yeah, but the, does the methodology that the rest of us used make sense to you, though? Your way keeping makes sense. Okay. Now, I'm then okay. that makes sense. I'm just, I'm like, I get confused when it's time to rearrange. No, it's cool, so man. We all, we all struggle with something, so it's fine. As long as we can all understand at the end of the day, it's good. I, it's fine now. I'm not apologizing, though, but it's fine now. It's fine. It's okay. <laughs> as, long, as long as it's fine, <laughs> we, we are all fine with it, dude. Don't apologize. Lerado. Lerado. Brother. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, can I please say something? Uh, if I apologize, it doesn't mean that I would have wronged any other person. Okay. You know, it makes our environment to be conducive, to be welcoming to anybody. Even if I didn't do anything wrong, if we can adopt that uh, approach in life, believe me, we'll go places. Thank you, sir. That is what I'm just. This is not uh, on on meds. It's just in general, brother. In life. Yes, sir. Thank you, brother. We are not brother. competing, sir. We are all here to learn. It's not a competition of who's right and who's wrong. We are just all here to learn. Correct. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Lerado. Lerado. Yes, sir. You see number 27? Let me change. Do you see number 27? Can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. The limit of 1 over theta sine 5 theta all over cos of theta as theta approaches 0. 
we are all working on number 27, but again, you will be the first person to share your answer with us. We'll follow you. Okay. Yes. Are we doing number seven? 27, I mean. Number, number 27, yes. Elvin, what did you get, brother? So I got five. You got five. Another yes, person that I'm worried about is Butler. What did you get? Five, sir. Okay. Bianca, what did you get? I got five. Prudence. I also got five, sir. Yeah, who should I? Another person that I'm worried about. Tell you. The order that I've been mentioning your name is the way in which I'm worried about you. Don't worry. I'm the one worried about you. Uh, Tando. Tando. Where Tando? Yo. Tando Lwengosi. So I'm also okay. done. Tio, yes, finish. Tio, what did you get? I got five as well, sir. Abdul, Mr. Mazuzo, what did you get? I agree with Lirato on this one. I agree with Lirato. Ndumiso? <laughs> I got and five. Thank you. Sbusiso? I agree with the majority, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, Lerato? Yes, sir. Please clap hands for yourself. Thank you, my brother. Legend. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Now, let's... I want us to wrap up this section. Let's do number 28 in less than two minutes. Lerato, you will also be leading us. Busiso is done, sir. Students is done. Busiso is done. Okay, hang on. At the top is Lerato. We're waiting for him, then followed by? Who was the first? Busiso. Was it Busiso? And then in Dumiso, Prudence. Is it Prudence? Did I hear clearly? It's so yes. Yes. You keep quiet. Let a girl. Let a girl. Let a girl or a boy. It's a girl. Let a girl. Yes, we have got a new member. We have got a new member. Hey, who else is done? After Prudence. Prudence was the was the, the last Rado, person. Le, oh, Lerato. Okay, thank you, Lerato. Who else? This has a question, sir. Yeah, before you come with the question, let's check who else is finished. I'll be with you, Lerato. Who's this? Alvin's done. Who? Alvin? Yes, sir. Yes, Alvin. Theo, where are you? Uh, I'm almost done. I need like just a few more seconds. Give me 30 seconds, please. I'm just triple okay. checking my work. Okay. Who's there? Bianca. Dancer. Dancer. I'm just checking. Um, I'm almost done. Who's done? Someone said dancer. Who's that? Bootle, sir. Bootle. Okay. Uh, Bootle, but you must tell us that you are done. Sorry, sir. Immediately when you just said Bootle, I was just uh, writing my answer. Oh, okay. Uh, there is another person. Bianca. Yes, I'm done. Thank you. What am I writing here? Yes, what is Why was I the last one on the list, sir? No, I'm not. Uh, prob you were talking while I was talking. Then I said to you, hang on for a while. Uh, were you about to give us an answer? 
No, so I was Don't asking why was the last person on the list of the worried ones? So. What was the question? Why? Why am I the last person on the list of the ones you are worried about? I'm done, sir. <laughs> uh, let me be careful. How should I? <laughs> it doesn't mean that I don't. I'm worried about all of you. Uh, how should I put it? Hmm. Can anyone? Okay. Is there anyone? No, you should answer. Who understands my worry about all of you? <laughs> no. <laughs> we are Who's different, no so, so we're... It's Bianca. Bianca, are you the one who's saying no? Yes. Uh, oh, okay. Let me try to get my words in order. No, this English is not our mother tongue. Eh? And I also need to be careful <laughs> when I talk to you. Mm. Mm. So, uh, the reason I said that yes, is because, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, not, to say, uh, not to say I'm not worried. I'm worried, but uh, uh, how should I put it? Abdul? Can you help me? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's fine, sir. We understand. Let's leave us. Are we under? Abdul? I'm saying you're on your own on this one. Say, tell us why are we on last? <laughs> no, West. I'm not even on that list. I don't know why. You wow. can say that again. That's why I'm yeah, worried as heartbreaking. well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure. it's hard i understand let's continue <laughs> it's a hard one so let 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 to give us an answer so i think the girl lady has a question if someone has raised her, her hand the girl lady it's my boss oh okay Can please I go ahead boss. on this one Yes, please, please. Um, I think he's worried about all of you, but um, Matsuso is outspoken. Abdul, we know Abdul will always talk and he speak his mind and and not that, like, not not to say others don't speak their mind. Uh, even the other day when during the class, Abdul is the <clears> one who said, let's understand one another and all those things. Smusiso is always outspoken, Lerado is outspoken, and Lerado, when he doesn't understand something, he'll uh, talk and make it a point of people knowing he doesn't understand. So what uh, Smusiso is trying to say, not to say Smusiso and Matoso and Bianca are not the, on the list. However, they are on the list, but because they they will be quick to say, I don't understand like the others. I, I don't know who I I I I I I I I I I you will be the first, the first to be called, and you will be the first to say something. Abdul, you know, even that time you say, let's understand other people because people like us, Abu Abdul, we are outspoken. When when Abdul, when last week, remember? <laughs> no, that's what you said. It was the class was about to finish. You were or guys. The, the, we there are regulars Baba Mutlasing. There are the new people that kept on coming, Baba Nantebata, that are not used to our family dynamics. Again, let's be accommodative and welcoming to one another so that Bande Babu when Abdul. I agree with you, Mamdi Kelly. Hey, so I want to not hold out, talk with Mara. You know, her Abdul Utoa Ali thing to say things as they are. 
Smusi so will always say things. Le rato will come and say what I can understand. Marahona le babang, they are not good. That's why then sometimes try to leave guys. This is for all of us. Let's sit together and ride in this train together to, until we get to our destination. I get ready me. Yes, ma'am. Yes. I tried. Ah, okay. uh, <laughs> you did best, mama. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Let me let me clap hands for you. Remember. <laughs> You know, my, I just don't like to come here and be with you in these sessions. Our main goal, all of us, I don't want any one of, it is not my wish for any one of you to come again the following year to do this module. I need you to proceed and graduate. Hey, Iris, so that others Iris. Hold. Iris. <laughs> Iris. <laughs> Who's Iris? Uh, Iris. <laughs> Who's Iris? Hey. Iris. 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 The Invigilator app. The Invigilator app. Hey. And it will herself. do you right, Shem. The devil herself, that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you understand. You and I both. Iris is the devil herself. Yes, sis. Yeah, no, he's Iris. Power of the tag, it shall be when. What are you Iris is another one. Is another one. If you and I can master our part, then I believe that we can also be able to handle Iris. Hey, Eunice should handle Iris. Yeah, not the other way around. Yes. Death of men and women. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Can we continue? Yes, sir. Lerado? Yes, please. Lerado? I'm here. I'm yeah, here. stay there. What did you get, my brother? That's an answer. Seven over five. Seven over five. Yes. Okay. Uh... Top <laughs> dog. <laughs> Bianca, what did you get? I got seven over five. Bootle, Bengozi. Bootle. Sorry, sir, seven over five. Yes, sir, seven over five, sir. Yes, sir. So, to show that I'm very much worried about you. What did you get, brother? Hey, sir, I got seven over five. I'm very worried. Two, sir. Hey. <laughs> no, what did you get? <laughs> I also got seven over five, sir. Prudence, what did you get? Prudence. Is Prudence gone? Okay. Hey, Alvin. Yes, sir. I got seven over okay. five as well. Uh, there was a, a lady who was talking a few seconds ago. Who's that? I thought it was Prudence. But no, it, it wasn't like me. Who? Uh, Bru yes, that's you. Is it you? Mm -mm, it, Is it? It's not Prudence. Well, it well, wasn't me who yeah, was yeah. talking. Yeah. Who's talking? Uh, <laughs> it's Bianca. Oh, get Bianca. Yes. Oh, Bianca, what did you get, my sister? I said I got seven over five. I thought it was Prudence. You know, now this Prudence's voice and Bianca's voice are confusing me. You get used to the both. <laughs> yes, I'll get used to them. Okay. Lerato. 
Yes, sir. Did I do? Yes, sir. Uh, thank you very much for getting the answer that we were all looking for. Ne? Okay. Now, uh, do you see number 29, Lerato? Yes, I can see. Lerato. Can we all see number 29? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lerato, is Lerato is also going to lead us in giving us an answer to number 29. We've got two minutes to wake up this one. But Lerato will lead us. You see, so it's done, sir. Okay, thank you, Sbusi. No, so. Hey, it will be Lerato, then followed by Sbusi. So. Abdul is also done. Can I ask? Abdul, yes, my sister. Yes, uh, Bianca. What time, are, what time are we finishing up? After the last one, number 30. Oh, okay. Hmm. Knowing us, it can take us until 8 o'clock, right? <laughs> Lerato is I was home I want to go to the home Sorry? You don't give us home I would like to complain. Yes, and I have got a reason for not giving you homework. I'll give you a homework. I'll, gi I'll give you a homework. Then, if you didn't do the homework, you'll be afraid to come here. That's why I just take time to go through whatever that I need to go through with you here in the workshop. That's true. <laughs> but some of us, we are itching, so we can't even sleep without doing something. Mom, Dr. Glenn, please, I'll you homework. Yes, I agree. I, we need homework, man. Uh oh We need homework. I'll look into that. But then, thank you, Lord. But there has to be a commitment from everybody, from every member of this family to say, even if they did not manage to do their homework, then they will still come. Because others will, will stay come, away. Sir. No, sir, that's, unfair. that's unfair, sir. The commitment Sweet. must be to do homework when it's given, not they will come without doing it. No. <laughs> There has to be an agreement. <laughs> hmm. So, what is an agreement, Lerado? Please talk to them. Tell them. Like, then I will follow. If there is, if there is homework, just do it, man. You can do it like people always say. Okay, I'm working. You have 45 minutes lunch. No one needs for 45 minutes. 10 minutes to eat. Hmm? Ten minutes. Like you can eat in ten. <laughs> you can write an exam in thirty minutes, guys. Narato. Yeah. Narato, things don't look easy as you say. Yes, I, I know it's not. They might easy. look easy on your side, but then they're not that easy. Yeah. Okay. That is fine. You can have homeworks. Just that it doesn't have to overload us. One or two questions. Let's not overload us. Even oh, five, it's two. okay. Because since since we, I think we're having class. Okay, then we'll factor that into our program. Uh, Lerado, you said you were finished. Busiso, you said you were finished. Yes. Abdul, you said you were finished. Who else is finished? I'm done, sir. Theo is finished. Who else? Don't want to leave anyone out. <laughs> I'm just tired. Bianca, are you still trying? I don't know what happened. Who else is finished? Okay. Since there is no any other person who is indicating a completion of the exercise that we are currently working on. 
Lerado, what did you get, brother? I'll be brave and say positive one. Positive mm -hmm. ones, was it so? Positive ones, eh? Abdul. I got something different. I got zero, sir. Thank you. John. Zero. How? Hey, but in Johnny. Pio, you got one. Yes, sir. Now let's go to Abdul. Abdul, three people have got one, then you have got zero. Please share how you got the zero with us. Okay, sir. So how I got my zero is that uh, someone once mentioned that uh, pi is 180. So two times pi is 360. And if you directly substitute uh, cos 360, it's one. Sine one minus one is zero. One minus one is zero. So it's in the indeterminate form, which is zero over zero. So there's something that needs to be done there before you could go ahead and continue working. So when something is in an indeterminate form, it's zero over zero. So in this case, it says you need to derive or find the derivative of the numerator and the denominator. So I derived my numerator and my denominator and you'll get to another point where pi again, it still gives you an indeterminate form. You need to derive it again. And then after the second uh, derivative, you'll end at a point whereby you will have negative sign the angle at top and cause the angle at the bottom. And then negative sign zero is zero cause zero is one. So zero over one is zero. That's how I got my zero. So you basically use L'Hopital's rule. Abdul? Yes, Minir. I I differ. I differ with what you got. Because now so, I went I went for the one option. Say, so why am I saying this? Remember, uh, you need to. Okay, I don't know how others do it, but you need to directly substitute first before you could go anywhere. So this is where I can say. Okay, uh, can I, I help you? Between, listen now. This is where I'm split between the one and the zero. Because if it ends up in an indeterminate form, therefore, at some point, you will definitely have to use the uh, King La Hospital's rule. So I'm with the one, but now I'm actually saying zero so that we can have this part of it addressed in this particular case. So that's why I went for zero instead of one. Can I try to explain it in a simpler way? Sure. Please. Um, yes. So, so guys, let's look at the equation. I need to, it's, it's sine one minus cosine x over one minus cosine x. If we were to say, the yeah, if we were to literally, and like you said, I like how you explained it in the first first part where you said if you directly substitute, you end up with zero over zero, which is indeterminate. Great. So what I did after that, because I did I did it like you initially. What I did after that is I said, okay, no, actually, when you look at this, let's let one minus cosine x equal x. Let's let that be x or b. Let's let it be b. Then when you let it be b, you end up with sine sine b over b. Over which then Correct. means that it's one. So I agree B with over you B, it. Yeah, sine B over B is the same as sine X over X, and we all know that sine X over X is one. So that's it, the answer one. is one. It's literally, it's, it's the sine of the angle over the same angle underneath, it's one. That's it. Okay, fair enough. So does it address the mere fact that going with this particular case, not everything else, with yeah. this particular case, is it fair for all of us to assume that we don't have to go through the last hospital's rule in this particular case. Uh, I don't know, because again, like you, initially I would have wanted to use L'Hopital's rule, but because we were told we can't do that, because I would have initially did the direct substitution like you did it, and then when I didn't get an answer, I would have wanted to use L'Hopital's rule. But because we can't do that, I just had to use another way, and just by looking at the equation, I just realized that, okay, we all know that sine x over x is one. In this case, we've got the sine of the angle over the angle. And that's it. I tried not to just overthink it, basically. Okay. And it made it easier. So, to stand my ground, I agree it? with one. Say, can you address the zero part of it in terms of this particular case? I agree with one as well, colleagues. I agree with you guys. I just wanted this zero case to be addressed in this particular case. <clears throat> Please explain to me how the zero comes in. So, okay. Remember hang on, hang on. Oh, OK, yeah, go, go ahead so that I can be able to see where then I'll have to come in. Yes. So remember, pi, pi is the same as 180, right, sir? 
Pi is 180. Correct. Yes. So mm. 180 times 2 is 360. Do we agree? Yes. So when we go there and we substitute x for 360, because 360 is 1. Yes. 1 minus 1 is 0. So our numerator yes. will therefore be sine 0, which is 0. And mm -hmm. then doing the same. Doing the same thing on the denominator, again, cos 360 is 1, and then 1 minus 1 is 0. So you'll have 0 over 0. That's that indeterminate form that I'm saying it needs to be addressed. Okay. Now, remember, uh, that is what we don't need. In all that we have been doing, that is what we tried as hard as we could to avoid. Now I'm surprised when we are now almost at the end of this section, uh, Abdul, and now you are taking that zero over zero to then be what we should be looking for. Remember, at the see. beginning, yes, sir. that is what we don't need. And then in this case, as you simply explained it, this is what, if you just look there, this is just this, where is that? This is like this. True. Hmm. Is this. So bottom oh, line, well, you just stick to the identity and you don't change anything else. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, my brother. Uh, and the is up then after Lerato. Oh, okay, Lerato, then the in that order. Thank you. Uh, sir, at the beginning of trick limits, we did two laws, and so far we've only used one. So I was wondering, will not be asked about the other one? Which one are you referring to? Um, the one for cos x minus 1 over x is equal to 0. This one. Let this one. Um, Are you referring to this one? Yes, to Using that one. Yes, I'm referring to that one. Let us do. We will only use it when it is applicable. We cannot just use it because we know it. Okay, it's fine then. Uh, yesterday, I used an example of an original mechanic and a qualified mechanic. Okay. Then, if we, are to, if we are to use what... If we are to use something where we are actually not even supposed to use it, then we'll turn ourselves into the original mechanics. So okay. I would like us to remain to be the qualified Origi mechanics. Qualified one, okay, it's fine. Yes, so. not the original mechanics. <laughs> and I, I thought like, when they are given course and sign, mm. you just use either of the two, like depending on the situation, like if there is cos minus two or something like that, but then it's fine. Okay. Can we take two minutes to wrap up with number 30? Abdul is done. Is done. Abdul is done. Abdul Ndumizo. Who else? Students. There are students. Okay, I captured Abdul. I captured Indome, so I captured Prudence. Who else? Busiso. Butle. Busiso. Lerado, we are waiting for you. You have got a minute. Uh, sorry, sir, Indome, so speaking. Yes, Nemeso. Well, we give the others a chance to do number 30. I'm still not understanding uh, 29 because everybody says they got one. 
So, like, oh. how? Because the x is not approaching zero. It's approaching uh, two pi. So, how did the guys get one? Or is there a law that I don't know about? Okay. Ah, uh, my brother. This is what we used. <sighs> That's what we used. Yeah, I see, sir, but then the X there is approaching. X is zero. not approaching zero. Or yeah. is that your concern to say X is not approaching zero? Yes, in question 29, X is not approaching zero. There, I agree with you. It's not approaching zero. Then, please share with us what you are having in mind. Okay, I. I tried to substitute that two and a half into the into the equation, but then what it's giving me is zero over zero, which is undefined. In that case, then what? Can I say a statement? Please go ahead, brother. Okay. Um, when you substitute two pi to one minus cos x, what what does one minus cos x give you? One minus cos x is going to be zero. Zero. So when yeah. x approaches two pi, doesn't one minus cos x approach zero? Sorry, please repeat again. Okay. When you substitute two pi to one minus cos x, you get zero. I get so zero. When, yes. Meaning when x approaches two pi, one minus cos x approaches zero. Are you following? You said when one minus cos x approaches two pi. What, when x, that, when, okay, when x, x approaches two pi, one minus cos x approaches zero. Okay. Yeah. Simple as that. It's just a vice versa. When you have x there, x approaches zero. It means your x becomes zero. Now you have the opposite. You have an equation that approaches zero when x approaches another number. That's the same thing, but in a different way. The same as one minus one is equal to zero. Are you following? No, I'm still not following because Okay, so in essence, what you're saying is that when we say, okay, let's say that one minus cos x, and then we substitute two pi in there, you're saying that is going to be more or less zero. Yeah. So it, in a matter of fact, if you say one minus cos x is equal to x, and since x is approaching two pi, it means one minus cos x is zero. So you can say x is approaching zero when you place x in the place of one minus cos x. Okay, I think mm. I understand. Can I also add Are you sure? to be as just did? Yes, go ahead, brother. Yes, please. Okay, to offer it different perspective, which is the same thing as what Ndu is saying. Remember our cos waves or our graphs, they have a period and the period is 360. So it moves from zero to 360. That's the period. So yeah. after 360, it's done. It goes back to zero. So in a way, it's like them saying it is going back to zero because remember we said pi is 180 and 180 times two is 360. So meaning that cos wave will have computed uh, its entire period and it's starting afresh from zero moving again in that continuous direction so it's different in a sense that how i'm presenting it but it's the same thing as what Hindu is saying so if you're not going to see it in that sense look at it in that period form to say that once it has completed its 360 it's done it goes back to zero and then it continues again 360 zero 360 zero just like that Yes, sir. If you don't see it, 
Don't force it. Okay, sir. So just try to. I'm not saying uh, what Abdul said and even what uh, Sibusiso said. Both of them said the very same thing, but from different angles. Okay. Okay, sir. If you don't see it, don't force it. At a later stage, when you are alone, when your mind is not uh, having any other things, just try to think about it and then even the way the explanation was provided. Okay, uh, no problem, sir. And then see whether you will not reach the very same conclusion. Okay, uh, no problems. Uh, Lerato. Lerato, yes, my brother. Are you finished? Yes, I got two answers. Two answers? Yes. Yeah. Yo. Mm. I got three and nine. Lerato has got three. Mm. Another one is nine. Yes. Okay. Now let me go to Abdul. What did you get, brother? I agree with Lerato's three, but not the nine. <laughs> uh, uh, what I, did you get? And uh, Miso got three, sir. Thank yeah. you. Prudence, I, what did you get? I got three, Prudence. sir. Bootle. Bootle. Suppose so? Yes. Bootle is a good three, so sir. Thank you. Suppose so? Three, sir. Thank you. Lerato, how did you get uh, the nine? Please share with us. Because uh, on the nine, when it was dividing a uh, square root of nine x divided by root of x, I said, like I treated the root like an x. It was like square root of nine x. Like I canceled out square root and x. And then I got nine over one. And then I saw like, maybe I'm not supposed to cancel out square root and x. I'm only supposed to cancel out the x. That's when I got square root of nine divided by square root of one. That's when I got three over one. Yeah, so yeah. Does maths, like sets, division of sets, that's where the problem was. That's how you got the nine. No, I say I understand how they got the three. I did the wrong division. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Hang on. Hang on. I want to help you, my brother. Okay, sir. There's a step there of square root of nine x divided by square root of x. Yes. On that step, I took two roots on solving it. The first root. I cancelled out the square root and the x at the same time. And then I said equals to 9 over 1. That's when I got the 9 as my first answer. And then I also took another root. I only cancelled out the x. And then I got square root of 9 over square root of 1. Square root of 9 is 3. Square root of 1 is 1. That's when I got my second answer, the 3. In both situations. Okay. Yeah. Um just wait there, don't go. Let me ask anyone. Let me not uh, say anything. Uh, who should I call out here? Prudence. Prudence. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you please uh, share with us how you arrived at three? You are not only sharing with uh, Lerado. You are sharing with all of us, but Lerado, I'll ask you to pay attention. So, the uh, root 9x is the same as root 9 multiplied by root x all over root x. 
the root of 9 is 3, and then the root x on top, it cancels out with the root x in the denominator. Then the answer is 3. Please ask Lerato whether he followed. Did, do you understand, Mr. Lerato? Yes, I, I fully understand that. I didn't know that you can separate them. Like, <laughs> I'm shocked. And when you said like root nine times root x, it's the same. I was like, oh, I didn't. Yeah, I understand. I get it now. Yeah. Yeah, I understand how you got it. Cool, man. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Prudence. Thank you, everybody. Uh, are we all happy? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is there yes, anyone sir. who has got a question based on what we did up to this point? Yes, I have a question. Yes, who's talking? He's speaking to Elizabeth. But you can call me Lizzie. I'm a bit behind, but I can hear everything that's happening. What happened to the sign? Why is it three? Is it sign three or? Uh, please be specific. You want to help you? Okay. Listen. So this is number the number thirty. Um, I understood Prudence's explanation, but I'm saying that what happens to the sign? She says that you multiply sine square root of 9 times square root of x divided by the square root of x. I do understand that the square root of x and square root of x cancel out. But then what it, 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 it's then left as sine 3. Or am I wrong? Am I not seeing it properly? Prudence, please help another member. Okay, so I'm very sorry I forgot to explain that part. But the second last step, yeah, is root nine times root x all over x multiplied by sine of root nine x um, over root nine x, and that part is sine of root nine x over root nine x. It's it it means one. So that 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 on its own, it's one. That's why I didn't focus on it. Sorry, I'm not sure if you understand. Is it possible for you to send a picture so I can see? I hear you, but I can't see it. Okay, not a not a problem. Thank you. Do you understand? No, I do understand everything else. I just want to see like what you're saying. You are eliminating. I, I want to because okay. I, I I work for, if I can see it, then I know I'll understand it. All right. Okay. Are you okay, Lizzie? Yes, I'm okay. Thank you. Uh, if we are all happy, can we then call it a night and then agree that we will see each other tomorrow?